Welcome to Pack Valham. Now before I talk about this, which is in the title of the video, just so I, you know, have it on record. Before I get rid of this, I want to talk about, okay, uh, what exactly I did, like, you know, with the background music of Echinoderm. YouTube Me, which comes after Editor Me, so Editor Me is the me, you know, Okay, I've reused this project from my Pro Bean Boozle Ball video. YouTube Me needs two cards, one for the Pro Bowl video and also a Kinoderm video. So I went frame by frame. For all of the music here, it starts right at the frame where we see fade in. And I have it for each of them, have it right at the end. The frame where it's the next the measure after fade out and it applies for each so go to bad ideas distressed right there the beginning of the frame where we're at the fade in and then oh, right here the frame after fade out which is also in that measure for the next piece in this case so for all of them i have it fade in half a second fade out two seconds and that's the same for all of the music and also what's the same for all of the music is I have the the soft EQ which has these values so for those non techie people EQ short for equalizer these are higher frequencies like higher pitched stuff that's lower frequencies lower pitched stuff and each of these sliders is the volume so if I went lower stuff like bass stuff to be louder then you know lower the left ones will be up higher or if i want to let's say i'm cutting out some of the high end sounds the high pitch sounds then you know decrease the spiders on the right uh, also volume so i quieted all of them but the volume's a bit different for all of them because of different loudnesses and also might be different s stuff going on there. For monkey spinning monkeys, I'm at negative 10 decibels. For bad ideas distressed, it's negative 20 decibels. Then foxtail waltz part one is at negative 20. And then ancient mystery waltz vivace is at negative 20. Joey's former waltz unscented is also at negative 20. Air prelude by five since it's relatively quieter. And actually, Air Prelude is mostly flutes, with a little bit of synth, so it's higher pitched, which is a big enough contrast from these bass string synthesizers, and also bass drums. So it doesn't need to be as quiet, since it's a, it's a different end, won't interfere as much with these bass sounds. And then Journey to Ascend, negative 20. And there's Devonshire Waltz Allegretto, that negative 10. Lacayum, negative 20. Grand Dark Waltz Allegro, that negative 20. And that's it. Oh, the red and blue markers, that's part of the beat detection feature of Filmora. Uh... Yes, that's a, that's a waltz, but I just kept it at mark every fourth instead of every third. Most of these are waltzes, but as you can see, Joey's former waltz unscented that's has three, or every third is marked in red because I've already had Joey's former waltz unscented on I Beloved a Lie. Uh, yeah. Okay, the last thing about this I want to talk about is where I cut each of the pieces of music. Monkeys spinning monkeys, who I just left out at the beginning. Some of these I left out at the beginning. Bad ideas distressed, I also left out at the beginning. And I found it... And it was just a coincidence that the chord change right here as 
as you can see, it, it changed from E flat to F. The chord change happened at what I had the ascending Celesta, which I don't think there was a Celesta in my dream. I just decided to add it because I wanted to. And I decided to add the trombone too. There may have been some other instruments in my dream, but I didn't remember which one, so I did. Nope. Both of those are added. Foxtail Waltz Part 1. I I did say Foxtail Waltz Part 1, not Foxtail Waltz Part 1 instrumental, be because I wanted some of uh, Kevin's story in it. Like, a short time later, or a long time later. A rabbit jumped out in front of Fox. Fox growled, Why are you jumping on my trail? I should eat you. And, and then a uh, rabbit yelled, uh, this, this is my trail. And I, I have, not have not seen you before. So because the slight fade in, I cut it just a little before, you know, Kevin said this sentence. A short time later. This one, er, uh, I cut it a little before the shouts. So the hey ho hey shouts a little before. So you get some of it without, and then. And here, uh, Joey's four waltz unscented. I cut out the, uh, what do you call it, the pickup measure, where it's just the drum kit going doo, 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 before the in, before the other instruments come in. Air prelude. Left it from the beginning. Journey to ascend. I cut out a little bit of the beginning, you know, try to start it. Right where there's no, no, it starts out with like lots of percussion. Well, it's an entirely percussive piece, but it like starts out at like this intensity, and then it picks up a little bit and is about like this intensity throughout. I cut it to where it's about that slightly higher intensity. Cut out where it was slightly lower intensity, and I'm saying intensity because, uh, for lack of better term, Devonshire Waltz Allegretto. Okay, where I cut it, it was partly without the other melody, like a... That melody that just started there. I cut it so that you can have some without it, and then that other melody plays... The okay, I'm, I'm not Jewish, I, and I don't speak whatever Jewish languages are there. I don't know how this word's pronounced, but anyway. I left it from the beginning, so, and, and for this duration. For, for those number of measures and this tempo, there's enough of the... You have, you can hear the intro, you know, different parts of the intro. Like the bass and the percussion, and then the guitar comes in. And then you can hear the clarinet and, was it a trumpet or a tuba? I'll just say brass instrument. So you get a good mix of intro and then the classic klezmer sounds. It's the laughing clarinet. I cut Grand Dark Waltz Allegro in a way such that when we get here, the part with the Celesta I was emulating or trying to sound close to mind up with. Uh, that's a little bit after. Right there. Yeah, right there. Do, 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 do. 
All right, now, 13 minutes. I did that in 13 minutes. That seems too long. Editor me. Uh, cut it down to try to get it under 7. Maybe around 5 if you can. Now to explain Bean Boozled mashup challenge. I have my Bean Boozled beans over there out of frame. I just wanted to say, full disclosure, my name is Editor. My first name is Editor. My last name is Me. I'm Editor Me. So, face reveal for Editor, editor Me. Right here. Have a nice day. Ha, that's a funny one. That's a good one. Now, I will briefly explain all of these things that the wheel could land on. Okay, first one is eat a bean. That might be the most complicated one, but you'll understand if I get to it. Free pass means where I would eat a bean, I don't have to. I can use a free pass. It's like what I... It's like in I Bluffed a Lie Season 2, if... If I were to have gotten five in a row with a bingo board, that would be a bingo pass, but it's same thing. And also with my uh, the Kahoot St. Patrick's Day trivia video with Lucky Wagers, I also got the Lucky Wager passes with that. I will have to lie. Now, I said that I'm not doing I will have to lie season three this year, but I'm not doing the, a full season of I Beloved Live this year. There is a video, a troll episode, I was uploaded on Wednesday, that I deliberately did not watch because I'm saving it for the wheel. Here. Impossible quiz. F one of the things that died in 2020, other than, uh, like, uh, Jobs, not Steve Jobs, he's, he's been dead. I mean, like, working jobs. And also people like uh, Conway, RBG, Kobe, Alex Trebek, and many others. Flash player died. Oh, Unisonis also died in 2020. Anyway, but I was happy to find out recently that pos the impossible quiz can still be played online. It, it's uh, converted to the new technology that's taking place of Flash or whatever it is. What about that Super Mario Crossover 5? I don't know about oh, that. It's fine. Okay. Kahoot. I play a Kahoot quiz. One question for each time the wheel lands on it. Well, actually, I should explain these. I will off fly. There will be maybe one prediction each time the wheel lands on it. And, and the impossible quiz, I'll keep going as far as I can. If I lose all three lives, I'll eat a bean, as I've done before. I think it was three lives. Or however, however many lives it was, if I get the game over screen and I, you know, try again from the beginning, I'll eat a bean, just like I've done before. PBJ. Fun fact, I ate for, for lunch potato soup and grilled peanut butter and, well, jam sandwich. It's good. But that's actually abbreviation for Proto Bowl Jeopardy. And this Proto Bowl is I go in the a regular room. Health card. I have another wheel for this. I spin the wheel. It'll tell me a health card to get. And I'll explain those if I get to them. Then TP cont contain. Sometimes there's a Twitch plays. Keep talking, nobody explodes. Sometimes they're on Twitch. Sometimes there's nobody's streaming that. If nobody's, if I find nobody's streaming it at the time of recording this, doing a Twitch plays contain, then I will just skip it. And so, as you can see, almost all of these I've done with Bean Boozled previously on my channel, but I haven't really done Bean Boozled and Quoth together. I mean, I've done them on the same day, but not f together. Penalties for Quelf cards are you go back a certain number of spaces for answering a question wrong or failing to do something. But I'm translating moving back a certain number of spaces for the number of beans I eat. Move back three spaces. If I lose and then I do lose, I eat three beans. Okay, let's get to it. Let's not waste any more time. Next episode, there will be more of this. Less of what I did earlier.
Kahoot. This Kahoot quiz is about computer science, and I'm going to use my phone. One question just for each. One question right now. Was that a Turing machine? Or are they talking about the Apple One? Uh, um. Uh. Enyak. One being avoided. Now, I don't move to the next question yet. I spin the wheel. That's how this works. So lands on Kahoot again, then. Now for the impossible quiz. I go as far as I can. Okay, I'm at the impossiblequiz.io. Okay, that's what it takes to eat a bean. Now the only way to avoid a bean from this one is to get through the entire quiz. So, this is kind of like the eat a bean spot on the wheel, but delayed. Chocolate pudding or canned dog food? Canned dog food. Which one do you think I'm eating? You think I'm eating canned dog food? Yeah. No, it is chocolate pudding! <laughs> one question on protocol Jeopardy. Well, you can forget about keeping this running. If, I guess if you're not on this room, well, any room for a while, it clears the score anyway. Which is okay. Alright, one question. Or clue. I don't know this one. Or should I keep going until I make a guess? That's what I'll do. Instead of one question, I'll keep going until I make a guess. Either a correct answer, or I'll eat a bean. If there's no answer, I'll keep going. Oh. Did that? I can't be it. I, I, I know disaster has an eye. Same kind of bean again. Chocolate pudding or canned dog food? Canned dog food. But surely if I previously ate chocolate pudding, that's one fewer chocolate puddings in here. I hear the loose one. And it would be a slightly higher chance that I eat canned dog food. That is if there are still some canned dog foods. If there are no canned dog foods, then the probability of it being canned dog food has not changed. Yeah. Mm. 
Why do you think it is? No, it is canned dog food. <laughs> mm. Do you think Grandpa would like that one? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean. I do, but some of you watching probably don't know the story. I'll spin the wheel uh, maybe two more times, maybe three. I don't know. We'll find out what it lands on. Quelf card. I will go get a, the box of Quelf and I'll come back with it. Alright. Scatterbrains. If... Um, for this one, there's a category. It either gives me a category or a choice between two, maybe three, or... No, probably just two. Or just gives me one. Anyway, I need to name ten to avoid eating beans. If it's stunt. Whatever it tells me, then I, I do it. Or if I don't do it, then whatever, whatever it is, I eat a certain number of beans. And then Quizzle. I have to answer correctly to avoid eating beans. Rules. Anytime I break the rule, then I'll eat the number of beans. That's equivalent to moving back a certain number of spaces, which is the penalty for all of these. And then showbiz. It's like stunts. But a little more showy, a little less dangerous or stuntsy. Though they're not too dangerous. But anyway, let's spin. Stunts. I will draw a stunts card. Some cards are classified. If they're classified, I won't read them out loud. If it's not classified, I will read it out loud. Aren't you glad you used deodorant today? Put your hands on top of your head. Keep them there until the beginning of your next turn, then discard this card. Now here's what I'm doing this. I have to keep my hands on top of my head while I spin the wheel and stuff. Maybe you can make an exception and just put one hand on top of your head. We have a touch screen. <laughs> some areas of the touch screen work, some don't. Oh boy, what if it lands on something you have to type? Like a. a... Just need to get through this round. The penalty is three spaces, or in this case, three beans. <sighs> All right. D um, not sure what to do about the cahoot. Um. For our next time, just in case, control C. Uh. Alright, for future reference, that's the Kahoot quiz ID. Maybe I'll just start over the quiz next time, I'm not sure. A71479FA-8812-47FE-8F04-7EBF9FA0A651. I'm aware I still need three beans for the 12th card, but I'll make that four beans if I for each strike. No, well, one additional bean for each strike. If I strike a module twice, then I'll eat two more beans. To, that'll be five. I'll just look up the manuals on my phone. Live stream plus Filmora, not very good computer performance. Well, there's already lots of lag. I don't know what's happening here. That's me.
they did say it was fine for me to you know, public or, um, put the rec recording on my YouTube channel. That sound, can you guess what it is? Yeah, it's popcorn. Yeah, too much lag. Maybe I should remove it from the wheel, but I'll keep it in case there's not as much lag or delay next time. Give me a suggestion. Any suggestions, one suggestion or multiple suggestions, or no suggestions, about what else I should add to the wheel. Alright, here's the three more beads from the stunts. We have, huh, buttered popcorn or rotten egg. I'll go ahead and spin it two more times. I'll remember what they are. Peach or barf. And one more. Uh, okay, another buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Uh, I'll have to open another one. Or pizza bar. Uh, I'll get that one. Alright, this is the first bread of popcorn or rotten egg that I've just gotten out of there. Which one is it? Uh, rotten egg. Which one is it? Mm, it's barf. Well, I have three bad ones in a row. Well, I got, actually, that including the one from earlier that with canned dog food. Yeah, three bad ones in a row. But would this be the fourth? Yeah, it is. I'll spin that wheel next time. If you're smart, click the like button. If you're genius, click the subscribe button. And you'll see me next time. Goodbye. Well, you know what, Chris? What? I said, there's nothing in here with Under my underma. Under what? Underma. And I'm a lamp.